There's an old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. Look at this picture. What words would you use to describe this? Today I'm going to talk about one picture, an image that was revealed to the Fallout community several years ago. Before I talk about the brief history of this image, I want to show you the thing that gave me the idea to make this video. Look at this picture. Whoa, 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 wait up, wait up. Wrong picture. Not the one I'm looking for. It's a good picture, it's funny as hell, but not this one. This is the picture I'm talking about. Nice picture, right? My friend Ross Graham showed me this Photoshop a while ago, and when I saw this, my response was several minutes of laughter. Look at it. It's outrageous, it's over the top, it's the best type of silly. This image popped up again when I was looking through one of my folders and I thought, where's the original image? This is a Photoshop. I've never seen this in any Fallout game before, so I gotta look for the original image. So I decided to do some research on the origin of the original image. And I found out that this was the rejected Fallout 2 child killer perk image. That's a mouthful, right? Brian Menz is an artist who's worked in the video game industry for over 20 years. Some of the games he worked on are Fallout 2, Planescape Torment, Icewind Dale 1 and 2, Fallout New Vegas, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, and South Park The Stick of Truth. During the development of Fallout 2, he was approached by one of the designers and was asked to work on an image for the child killer reputation. For those that don't know, in Fallout 1 and 2, you can be an evil son of a bitch and murder children, which was a pretty ballsy feature to add back in the 90s. This was back in the day when just a couple of years before Fallout's release, the president of Sega of America and the president of Nintendo's American branch kowtowed to the Senate because some people thought games like Night Trap and Mortal Kombat were corrupting our youth and overly violent. Imagine if today, the president of Sony and the president of Microsoft went to the Senate and they were kowtowing and pleading to the Senate that their console is okay for children and games like GTA and others aren't that bad. That'd be fucking retarded. Also in 1998, the year of Fallout 2's release, a game called Thrill Kill was cancelled right before it was supposed to ship. Why? Because it was overly violent and it might be offensive. And if you look at the footage of the game, it's not even that bad. It's really tame compared to the video games we get nowadays. So they were doing shit like that in the 90s. So for Fallout 2 to add a feature that lets you kill children, that's pretty ballsy. I'm getting a bit off topic. Let's get back on track. Brian's child killer icon was never used. Several years ago, it appeared on the internet thanks to its creator. He posted it on his DeviantArt page with a short explanation. This is what he said. The image was unused and the only Vault Boy image to ever be cut from Fallout 2. I'm sure you can figure out why. I remember when I got the request to do a perk illustration for child killer that there would be no way to keep it from being offensive. I mean really, how do you make an illustration of child killer and keep it from being offensive? Anyway, for some reason, I thought this was the least offensive way to do it. I had no idea what I was thinking. Even the designer who requested it realized it was a bad idea, so we nixed it. Looking back on it now, I can't believe I drew this. And that is the brief history of the unused Fallout 2 child killer icon. I thought it was interesting enough to make a video about. What are my thoughts on this image? I think it's hilarious. I would have added it in the game. Fallout 2 is a game where you can become a slave trader. You catch people and sell them into a life of misery. Well, even more misery. You can kill kids. You can also watch Frank Horrigan massacre innocent people. It's a mature rated game for a reason. This icon is the perfect icon for the child killer reputation. Look at Vault Boy. He is happily kicking a pregnant woman in the stomach. He knows it will probably kill the kid and probably do some serious harm to her, but that motherfucker don't give a damn. That is one evil son of a bitch, and it fits perfectly with an evil playthrough of Fallout 2. I'm not gonna say that the people at Black Isle Studios were being SJWs or politically correct. No, fuck that. In this case, all they did was remove one image. You can still kill kids in Fallout 2, you can be a slaver, and Myron, he's in the game. He's a fucked up motherfucker, that damn pervert. If you played Fallout 2 as a dumb woman, you know what I'm talking about. So they still kept all this crazy shit in the game, it's not politically correct whatsoever. Fallout 2 is a great game, but you can be an evil son of a bitch. If I had to guess why they took this image out, I don't know, maybe they thought the image was tacky or it didn't look good. 
I think the image looks great. I especially find it funny how Vault Boy is maintaining his smirk on his face, that fucking smile that we all know and love, while he's kicking this pregnant woman. He's just sitting there cheesing the whole time. He don't give a damn. That's especially hilarious to me. Maybe they thought this image would cause more bitching by mothers groups or religious groups than the gameplay elements or the story. An image can do a lot. A lot of people that bitch about violent video games, they don't play the games themselves. They don't go far enough into the game to find out most of the time. They just look at images or look at something quote unquote offensive and they just start going wild. So maybe they thought this image would do more harm than good. I don't know, it's just someone kicking a pregnant woman. It makes sense if you're playing an evil character. Now that was the brief story of the rejected Fallout 2 child killer icon. Let me know what you think. If you want to, you can leave a comment. Links will be in the description. You can message me on Twitter. You know how to get into contact with me. Have a great day.